Yo, what is up? It's Tico, guys, and we are back with the Xbox Series X unboxing on my channel. Shout out to y'all. We are about to get into next gen gaming. So, with that being said, oh, before we get too deep into the video, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell to be notified when a video is dropping. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us in the freaking YouTube algorithm. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and rip off the seal of the Xbox Series X. I am so happy to have this next generation console it has been so crazy and it's been hard to get this thing the freaking scalpers are really taking over because these things are hard to get and when you get a drop and you can get one you are a blessed person but shout out to y'all now let's go ahead and get into it let's take the box and open it the presentation look at this power your dreams and uh yeah this is cool it's ridiculously crazy to actually have one in your house. So if you do have one and you're lucky enough, hey man, it's 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 something. So I gotta say, I'm excited to have it, but let's go ahead and pick it up. It is very, very heavy and it's smaller than what I thought it would be. I thought this thing would be much bigger, but nah, it's much smaller and it's very heavy. You can tell that it has some guts in it, but look, the close up with the black stuff around it, power your dreams. And now we're gonna go ahead and just mess with it the weight is bringing my veins out of my arms so that's how you know it's heavy that's crazy the bottom of it right here so let's go ahead and peel off the tape let's go ahead and pull the tape off of it Whew, this is this is a moment now let's go ahead and take it off i remember having this little covering on my xbox one x and i still have it and i never get rid of it i always keep it just in case when i have to shift around and move I put it back and look at this man look at this look at this the presentation the disc drive the green accent in the top the vents the architecture of this xbox series x is amazing and this is just something i've been waiting for let's go ahead and get it closer to the camera and see if we can get a little zoom the engravement look at the back of it the feet on the bottom and you have the green accent where the fan is located on the console so this is next gen gaming Let's go ahead and look at the actual pamphlet. It's like not a pamphlet. It's just like this uh, instructional guide that you can look at. And it gives you an app option to, to set it up with the app. I tried that and it didn't work. But it does show you where the ports are and what's what. And let's go ahead and pull out the box that has the accessories in it. Check it out. We're going to go ahead and look in here and see what goodies we have. You see the ultra high speed logo in it. The actual ceiling. This is the ultra HDMI cable, ultra high speed HDMI cable. And I had to have my white gloves on because I just had to, you know, get it working, stand out. That's the actual power cord. It's not a brick. We just put a power cord in it and it's all inside of the Xbox. So that's cool. They have the information about it right here, the little booklet, which everything has it when you buy it, especially if it's some good product. And let's go ahead and pull out the controller. The newer version of the Xbox controller which is cool it looks a lot like the other one but let's go ahead and pull it out of the packaging all right here we go right here check it out it looks just like the other one a little bit smaller the d-pad is different the grips on the side you can feel like the little grooves on the side of the controller where you hold it where if you sweat it won't slide out of your hand like the older controller and uh yeah it says that the people actually say that it's really uh, responsive to the button press, but I've been using the Elite. So yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and look at the batteries. It does have batteries, guys. So if you don't like batteries or if you do like batteries, it, it doesn't do that, but check it out. Here's the box right here. Gotta show your presentation. One terabyte SSD, crazy. Look at the right, man, this is insane. 4K, 8K, power your dreams, the Game Pass. We're not gonna talk about the Game Pass right now. We're not gonna get into that. Now we got the Seagate SSD storage expansion drive. Now this right here is a go-to accessory if you do plan on getting an Xbox Series X. And if you do have a lot of games on the disc or on the hard drive of the game, then you need to get one of these because it's going to get space. Like I put 2K on the console and it took up like 108 gigs like off top. So let's open it up. And we're going to tell you what this thing do now. This thing right here has seamless integration with the Xbox Velocity architecture in the Xbox Series X and S to achieve peak performance. So which meaning when you use this, you get fast performance. It reads really fast. So those games play 
at the same speed as the SSD that's internally in the in the uh, Xbox Series X. It's going to be super fast for you. It's going to feel good. It's just going to be crazy. But let's go ahead and pull it out and look at it. All right, put that down. Check it out. The Seagate, one terabyte. Look at how small it is. I thought this thing would be much bigger, but it's not as big as I thought it would be. When I was on BestBuy.com and seeing people have it, I thought it was bigger. But now that I have it in my hand, it's smaller, way smaller. Okay, so it has the little instructions, information right here, or whatever, inside the box. Cool little presentation. Now I took it out. Let's go ahead and pull off the little cover. Okay, right there. And here is the SSD. This is crazy. The storage expansion. Let's go ahead and put it close to the camera with my little raggedy, raggedy white gloves. You can see it. I want it to stand out. That's why I want to use my gloves too as well so you guys can see it. And I can go with this style of unboxing. Check it out. Gotta love it. Now, this is the back of it. Now, here is the expansion drive plugged in the back. Now, one thing that I didn't know is I have to take it and push it all the way in because you see how it's hanging out right here? You gotta push it in where it can have a snug fit because if you turn it on, it's not gonna read it. You're gonna actually just see the, the uh, memory that you have on board. So you gotta push that thing in. Look at the top, look at the green, man. That is <laughs> crazy. Now, I did get NBA 2K21 Mama Forever Edition. I'm a huge Kobe person. Love Kobe, rest in peace Kobe, and everybody was affected in that crash. But here is NBA 2K21 Next Gen, optimized for the Series X Ultra 4K HD. So let's go ahead and pull it out. And Best Buy messed my case up too, man. They, man, they tripping, bro. Now look at it right here. <laughs> Mamba Edition. The Series X sticker on the corner shows you that it's ready, ready for that. Now we have the Morse M Classic. This is a device that I've been using for about th almost three years now. This is a dongle, a graphics processor external that can upscale and make the graphics come together a lot better uh, on any console that you use that has an HDMI. Full HD 4K upscaler. Now I use this thing with every console that I own from all my retro consoles to all my current gen to last gen. Let's go ahead and open it up. But this thing is amazing. I got it hooked up right now to my Xbox Series X and it's just, it looks beautiful. So let's pull it out. And shout out to Marseille because they actually send me these things and uh, I bought this one. I bought this one. I wanted to unbox this one with my Series X and I had it since November. But look at the dongle, check it out. The source. And it's actually new. Like this one is made different from the Kickstarter versions. This one's a lot better than the Kickstarter versions, but let's go ahead and pull the box out. You have the USB cord and you have the HDMI high speed adapter. You can hook up to the back if you don't wanna just plug it in as the dongle. So here's the HDMI high speed adapter and here is the USB cord. And it doesn't come with a power source, like a power adapter. So you have to plug it into a console. I have a power strip and that power strip has like the USB ports on it. So I'll plug it in that way. So let's go ahead and just Take a close look at this now that's not two point if that may be a 2.1 i'm gonna get in touch with them but look at this right here on the back this is how the dongle looks this is how i'm rocking out with my next gen consoles when i get my ps5 i will pop another marseille upscaler in the back of there because it just cleans it up so let's go ahead and put it down bruh bruh okay here's a user guide the Kickstarter version didn't come with a user guide. This is my first time actually seeing a user guide for the M Classic. Now, I know you guys like, Tico, how do you actually get those old school games to look like that? And how do you get the Madden look so clean? This is what I use right here. This is what's in the box. This is a star guide. The USB power source is what you do need to power that USB cable. But I use the back of the USB on the Xbox or my power strip in the, um, the USB on my power strip is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, this comes in the box. And now I'm gonna show you the frame rates and how things work with this USB dongle, right? So you'll have input, output, resolution, and frame rates. It shows you what's what. Now, what I have is a Samsung 4K HD display, right? FreeSync. But I don't have 120 hertz, I only have 60. And this does run 60. So let me go ahead and hook up the dongle to the HDMI edition, right? I'm gonna hook it up to the little expansion. We're gonna go there. All right, I plugged it in. 
And here is the power cord, which I'm going to hook up to the dongle as well, because the dongle didn't work without the power cord. But this is how I get the most out of my gaming, especially. And you have to have a good monitor. Like you can't have a monitor that's not giving you HD, like 4K. I don't have an 8K monitor. I'm not I'm not doing that right now. But here's the power cord to the Xbox Series X. Glad it's not a block. Happy about that. We are good to go. And this is great. I mean, I just cannot be more thankful to have one in times like this with the whole situation going on. And, you know, me being a creator, I'm going to still rock out with the current GNGs. I'm just using this console to power 2K current gen and all the current gen stuff that I do play and all, all the videos and I will be doing next gen and et cetera. But with that being said, slap a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Roll to 50K. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go, man. I'm going to go ahead and get back on this. More videos will come soon. Shout out to y'all. Peace.